Well Mick, let's start with Saturday's opening day victory overall. Them a clean sheet and a win and a perfect way to start the season. Yeah, like I said, I think the most important thing was uh, three points. The clean sheet was a bonus. Um, I think it was, what was it, the first time we've since won an opening, since 2013, we've won an opening game. So uh, it's obviously nice to get that off our backs and hopefully we can try and build on build on the uh, performance in the next couple of days. A few debutants on Saturday, of course, as well, and it must have been nice to see the uh, work you've done in pre-season starting to come to fruition. Yeah, so I think they'll be, they'll be buzzing, they've got it out of the way. It's always nice to uh, get their first game for the club, it's a new club out of the way, early doors, and then they can just hit the ground running now. Look, we've worked hard for the last five weeks, and um, we paid, we paid, paid his toll on, on Saturday with three points. And the first time in 500 days that you had some fans uh, behind you and away end, it must have been nice to have Yeah, it was nice. You, look, you, saw the, you saw the pictures that have been going around when, when Kev scored the winner. He, what was it, 88 minutes? So to have that, if we had done that, the other end, in front of the older fans, it wouldn't have been the same. It would have been nice still to get three points, but to celebrate with them and, um, and for them. So they, they obviously, that it was a long trek up there on a Saturday morning for them and um, hopefully we gave them something to cheer about and they can go home happy. And you must have missed that feeling of uh, not playing in front of them for so long as well. Yeah, we have. Look, we, we said it all along last year. It was, it was it was okay at the start because we thought we didn't know how long it was going to last and obviously we were changing our style of football so it gave us that chance for them to see it from afar and then hopefully they when they did come into the stadium they could enjoy it themselves like we did. But um, now, they, now they're back and hopefully that will continue and they won't have to uh, step away again. And I suppose the only negative from Saturday's uh, game was obviously Matty going off injured and making you yeah. the armband. Yeah, it's not nice. Look, I'd rather not have the armband because it would have been Matty wouldn't have gone off injured and he, uh, hopefully it won't, be, um, hope it won't be very long. I'll just be keeping the wall through. And this is the first time we've actually spoken to you, Mick, since you've been appointed the club's vice captain. Can you just talk us through how that all came about? Uh, yeah, it's like Matty said, he, the gaffer pulled us both uh, the other week and said, look, one year, we're making you vice captain and captain. And then, um, and that was it. And look, it's, it's an honour to be it. Um, like Matty said, we've worked hard for the last four and a half years at this football club. And um, hopefully we can, we can carry on doing that in more of a leadership role. And that's the first uh, game out of the way now, but not much recovery before you go again on No, no recovery. <laughs> no, not at all. Normally we get a couple of days in the first week, but no, it's, I suppose that could help us. We can try and build on the performance uh, from Saturday against a very good side in Ipswich. Um, no, I'm sure the gaffer may, may make some changes going into it. We've got a lot of games coming up and um, we've got so many players that can go out and play. That's the benefit, obviously, last year we had a... We had a squad of 24 that everyone could play their part, and this year it's the same. So uh, in previous years we've only maybe had, no disrespect to the players that were here, but we maybe only had maybe 19, 20, where we, we, we can only make a few changes, where I'm sure the gaffer realises that he can probably put a full 11 out if he wanted to, to get minutes in to people's bodies. And um, so we'll wait and see who, who makes the squad, and uh, we'll be looking forward to going down and giving our good count on ourselves. Obviously last year we were very successful in this competition, and um, it brought a bit of money, brought the TV into the into the football club. So hopefully we can uh, we can go there and do well and try and get. And it's a good chance to test yourselves against a club who are playing in a division that you all want to get to. Yeah, exactly. Look, we were we were unfortunate not to be playing them in the league this year. Even let's put it out there, we were unlucky at Wembley, but we need to test ourselves against those sort of teams because, like you said, we want to be in that league. And um, they've spent an awful lot of money this year. They're they're obviously looking to go one better and go up into the championship. So if we can go and put in a good performance against that, regardless of the result, it means that we can learn. We can learn off, off those players, because look, every day uh, we're still learning as footballers, and um, if we can benefit playing against better players, then it's only going to help our own game coming into, into League Two fixtures. And as you already mentioned, you've already enjoyed so much success in competition since you've uh, joined the club. Where does uh, the League Cup rank, obviously, you've got to the... Uh fourth round in the first time club's history. Last yeah, year. exactly. Look, we're, normally it's the FA Cup we do well in and uh, we were lucky last year we did well in this one and, and the FA Cup. So it's, it's nice because obviously last year we played Swansea, Watford, Cambridge Cambridge and Newcastle. So they were big teams, big games. So we always find Cambridge in a cup competition every year. I'm sure we'll get them in the FA Cup this season. But um, look, it's, we want to test ourselves against the best players and, um, and we were lucky enough to do that last year. Hopefully we can try and uh, do that again this year and it starts tomorrow night. And just finally, it probably gives you an added incentive, doesn't it? Because in the League Cup, the Premier League, the majority of them come in in the second round as well. Yeah, exactly. Like we were obviously we were lucky last year when we did get the Premier League team. And um, we've got to try and go to Italy. It's not going to be an easy game. But I think they drew at the weekend, so they're going to obviously want to 
putting a performance to to warrant playing this weekend in the second league fixture for them. So they'll be wanting to impress. I'm sure they'll make changes because they can do. They've got a big squad as well. And um, everyone's got to try and impress their, their managers and uh, see who can make the league fixture. Well, best of luck with him, Mick. Thank you very much. Cheers.